Good evening, this is Stormcastle Jackson, and tonight I want to chat about comic book crossovers. Not just not just a crossover inside the universe, but a crossover from outside the universe. So, it's a new series I want to do is comic crossovers between comic companies. Um, have a crossover between their company, between one of their characters and another character. So, first up, though, we're going to talk about, because I enjoy it. Grendel, or, or Batman and Grendel. So two, this is a two-part series. Devil's Mask, Devil's Grendel. Done by Matt Wagner, who is the writer and illustrator and artist. And what's this is is this series is about Bruce Wayne Batman meeting Hunter Rose Grendel, the original Grendel. Uh, there is a second series which I'll, when I finally get the other when I finally get them I'll do about them, but this is about you know this is a crossover between DC and Kamiko, you know, Comico, which ever there, and um, this is about uh, you know Batman meeting uh, the devil, Grendel. As Grendel comes to Gotham and proves to be one of Batman's smartest foes he's ever fought. As you remember, Hunter Rose is exceptionally smart, very clever, um, has an almost cold personality. And in the series, that's some of the art, he sends riddles to Batman posing as the Riddler. And he even uses certain clues to try to direct it away. Like at one point, uh, he uses the expression, Bob's your uncle. Which is an English expression, which makes Batman think that he might be related to a young Canadian woman. But it is all about misdirection. Um, it was a great series. It's, it's really good fun. The art is pretty amazing. And the basic plot is uh, Grendel has been setting up these art heists in Gotham. Trying to show it off. And Batman realizes that that it's not the Riddler because instead of just being riddles and questions, every clue is more of a statement. And Batman notices it's unusual. Uh, Grendel sets up you know, some of the Riddler's henchmen and dares Batman to, you know, catch him, show him there. Because for Hunter Rose, it's all it's all about the challenge and fun and things. It comes down to the point where he uh, breaks into him, where he goes into a museum, and he scars an Egyptian mask with acid to make the mask look like Grendel's mask. Um... In the process, though, a uh, um, young lady who is innocent, who shouldn't have been injured, is killed. And Grendel, because he's not completely soulless, completely, has some regrets. And he, when he fights Batman, he shows off how good his skills are. Except Batman does manage to break... Hunter Rose's arm. Oh, break Grendel's arm, not Hunter Rose. And in the end, Grendel decides that the prey in Gotham isn't as enjoyable as Ardent back in New York. And Batman realizes that he does want, he does have, he does suspect, he does want to hunt after Grendel. But he knows that, first off, it's not his city. Second off, Arjun's there. It's a nice series. The, the two books are really good. It was actually done in the old prestige format with the hard binding and the hard covers. You got nice cover art. In the back, there's a, you know, has an Egyptian style. Shows books. You know, it shows, you know, Egyptian looking graphics on there. 
it's a fun series. Um, it's worth it. Honestly, where I got them, I got them at a local comics store with two of them together for a very reasonable price. Um, because I highly always recommend Grendel. Grendel is, is really fun. And it's nice for Batman to see a, have a really challenging foe. You know, this is before Bane physically. But someone who is as smart, as intuitive, as wise, and as clever as the Bat. Um, it was a pretty fun series. You know, it's, it's just two books. It's worth the read. Maybe you can buy yourself a copy. Maybe you've read it before. Maybe you've read the, read the sequel about dealing with the other Grendel. Maybe you've read that. But I like the idea of this crossover with DC and Com Kamiko. Because usually, you know, when people think crossovers, they're usually thinking like Marvel and DC. But there were other ones out there. And I'm going to go over some of them. And I'm going to talk about some of the really good DC Marvel team-ups such as the Batman Captain America by John Byrne, which is an amazing story. Um, you know, set during World War II. But this is by Matt Wagner. It's really enjoyable. If you read it, give me give me a you know, share in your comments. If you haven't read it and you want to try something really good, it's nice it's nice writing. This is before uh Grundle move over to Dark Horse. Um, it took them a couple years to get there because Kamiko was going through a bankruptcy process, but Matt Wagner had the rights to it, so it took a little while to get out. But in the end, it's a fun story, and it's worth the read. Anyways, this is Storm Castle. Just want to share off a good story that I enjoyed. That I think that maybe, hopefully, ideally, others out there will enjoy or have enjoyed before. So, um, thank you, and keep hunting.